a Jerry a narrow defeat at Torquay United fine margins and a, just a deflected goal separating the sides it feels like a cruel blow today yeah definitely that fine margins in the game but that's two games we've lost so I don't want to I don't want to. Um, I don't want to keep feeling sorry for ourselves. That's for sure. But in the context of the game, I thought they come out. Which you expect. You come to Torquay away. They come out and they they were really on the front foot, very aggressive in their play. A lot of big lads, a lot of athletes in their team. But and you have to you have to defend, and you you know you're going to have to defend. So that's okay. I've got no got no issues with that. You're not coming away to Torquay United, who are you know full time outfit, abundance of players to choose from, um, a manager that knows the league really well. Um, and not expect to have times when you're not going to defend. And we de defended really well, really, really well. Um, and then we've had a couple of moments. First half, Ewan's effort here where we're looking at it, just misses the post narrowly. A couple of good set plays. But Will's had to pull off some really good saves as well, and that's why he's in him. He expects to pull off saves, so, and we expect him to, so that's fine. But I thought the second half, we were terrific. I thought we were really good second half. There were spells just in the last 10, 15 minutes where we started to take control of the game with the ball. A bit braver, build-up play was really good. And then second half, I thought we've had some really good moments in the game. The goal which separates the sides, uh, anything you can lay blame on anyone, it's a deflected shot from 30-odd yards. Well, there's always things tactically that, you know, we'll, we'll talk about. We'll leave that in there. That's, um, in the end, it's, a, it's the right-back who scores. And it's not really going to trouble you. I mean, if a right-back's hitting a ball from 30 yards, generally, we're going to save it or it's going to go wide. You're really unlucky. Let's, let's make no bones about it. You're really unlucky that it's come off one of our defenders' heads and flown in. There's nothing you can do about that. But there's bits at the top, you're right, there's bits maybe, but Cody's on with Scotty at the top and we try and win a flick on and maybe we can adjust a little bit across the pitch. But but I've got to talk about then our, our chances. I mean, Jordan, it's a hell of a save and Jordan's headed at the far post. He's, he's dug that out from nowhere. It looks like it's slow motion, it looks like it's in. Obviously it's not because it hasn't been given. Um, Cody has a really good chance then in the near post when he's gone across the near post and it's a wonderful block by the defender. Um, Jordan always looks like he's going to do a bit on the edge of the box. When he scuffs with his right foot, we felt he could have hit with his left, but he's tried to create an opening. Um, and, and and we look like we're going to get something. Kieran's header, yeah. literally millimetres away. So you're talking about four or five chances there where we can go and get something from the game. So we certainly didn't deserve it. Um, I thought it was a game, a really good National League South game, played at really good tempo in tricky conditions. Um, two sides going at it. Two sides that are really organised. Um, and in the end, we've been unlucky to come out on the wrong end of it because I thought it was if it, it should have been it should have been equal really for the two teams, but it wasn't. The facts are it wasn't. It's the reaction to going a goal down in the 82nd minute. You think oh, there's barely any time left. He mm. created more. It felt like that was the stage where he created more chances against a full-time team. You were really causing them difficulties. They were getting very nervous at the back. Well, there was a spell also in the first half and then the second half when the crowd started to go a little bit quiet, and that, that's key when you're coming away from home to a place like this. So. We did our job as such in that regard, um, but I felt as if I felt as if the whole of the second half we were pretty dominant in it. Of course, they're going to get some chances, breakaways, they're going to get some moments, but they weren't clear cut. Like the saves that Will had to make first half, which you know, hold our hands up, he's had to make some good saves, obviously. But we've created the better of the chances second half. Um, we've obviously had to leave a few bodies forward in that as well, because you're one nil down, you might as well be two. So obviously, I've taken a bit of a gamble tactically with a few, but but yeah, we're look, we're. we're we're really peeved by it, to be honest. We are. I'm not going to come here. I remember coming here four years ago and going, well, we played really well and we lost 1-0. That, that's not our mindset anymore. We're, we're a bloody good side that didn't deserve to lose that game and, um, and, we, and, we're, and we feel really aggrieved by it, in fact. So, um, yeah, listen, we'll have to lick our wounds because we go to Weymouth on Tuesday. But back-to-back -back performances have been really good. But I don't want to make a habit of coming out and saying that and we lost the game because where we are and where we've set our standards, we're a top side in this league. And... Um, and I think we showed it today. Oh, so you're going to Weymouth with a pretty fit and healthy squad. You explained before the match, it's just Joe Rain's illness ruled him out. So yeah. you think it'll be OK for Tuesday? And he got pretty much everybody available. That you well, he, yeah, I mean, he's feeling really lethargic, I've got to be honest. So um, he didn't train Tuesday, he didn't train Thursday. There's a little bit of cold going through the camp. Um, so, yeah, you're going to get that. It's another thing. You know, we've got 16 players. We've got nothing else. That's it. 16. There's not 17. There's not 18. There's 16 players. We're going to have to go to the well again. What we'll have to be is clever with them and try and try and see. We've asked for all this feedback. See the ones that maybe need a bit of a breather Tuesday so we can freshen their legs up to go down to Weymouth. Um, we were excellent down there when we played recently. So let's, let's look to go down there and put in another strong performance. And we, if we keep playing that way, we'll come out on top more often than we won't. Um, but again, I'll, I'll repeat, I'm not... We're not, we're not happy coming here and losing 1-0 because we felt as if we didn't deserve it and we played better than that. Thanks for your thoughts, Jay. We'll see you on Tuesday. Cheers. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Jay. Cheers. Right.